In a stunning move, Columbia University announces all in-person classes will be hybrid or remote for the remainder of the spring semester due to the anti-Israel protests. Many lawmakers and officials continue to call on the university's president to step down, but others continue to toe the line as the unrest continues at the Ivy League and other colleges across the nation. Those are the calls from anti-Israel protesters at Columbia University as they continue their days-long demonstrations on campus. The university's president, Manoush Shafiq, decided to cancel in-person classes Monday and have them be held virtually due to the protests. Now, the Ivy League announced classes will be hybrid through the remainder of the spring semester, which ends on April 29th. Calls for Shafiq to resign have grown over the past few days, including from every single elected House representative from New York. President Trump called the protests a disgrace and said Biden doesn't even know who he's backing. What's going on at the college level and the colleges, Columbia, NYU and others, is uh, a disgrace. And it's, a, it's really on Biden. He has the wrong signal. He's got the wrong tone. He's got the wrong words. He doesn't know who he's backing. And it's a mess. This is in stark contrast to President Biden's remarks a day earlier when he was asked about the anti-Semitic protests, but did not respond when questioned whether he believes Shafiq should resign. What's your message to the protesters? Do you condemn the anti-Semitic protests on college campuses? I condemn the anti-Semitic protests. That's why I've set up a program to deal with that. I also condemn those who don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians and they're, how they're being moved. Should the Columbia University president resign? I didn't know that. I'll, I'll have to find out more resign? about it. Meantime, footage is circulating on social media, showing just two months after the 9-11 terrorist attacks, Shafiq is attempting to rationalize how terrorism is a form of protesting. You'll always have individuals who will have extreme views. But what's really troubling in the region is that there's actually quite a broad base of society which has some sympathy for the terrorists, not so much because they approve of their methods, but it's a form of protesting against a system which is not delivering for them on the economic or the political front. New York Governor Kathy Hochul and New York City Mayor Eric Adams continue to condemn the anti-Semitism circulating at Columbia and other college campuses. GOP representatives Mike Lawler and Anthony Desposito held a press conference near the university where they emphasized the importance of standing with the Jewish students and the Jewish community. And on the other side of the aisle, four Jewish Democrat lawmakers also held a press conference after touring the university, describing the protests as a new low. However, the far left wing of the Democrat Party continues to stand with the anti-Israel protesters, such as Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who claimed during a Biden campaign event Monday, the protesters are peaceful. As we won, once again witness the leadership of those peaceful student-led protests on campus, it's like Columbia, Yale, Berkeley, and many others. Yet footage from Columbia's campus shows protesters of the Gaza Solidarity Encampment spewing anti-Semitic rhetoric and taunting Jewish students. Repeat after me. We have me. A Jewish student at Yale covering the protests at Columbia was stabbed in the eye with a Palestinian flag. In total, authorities have arrested hundreds of the student demonstrators at Columbia, Yale, NYU, and beyond. But the protests and encampments continue to carry on. The NYPD noted how university personnel must call them to act since it's considered private property. Meantime, the chair of the House Education and Workforce Committee, Virginia Fox, issued a warning regarding Columbia's continued failure to restore order and safety, which constitutes a major breach of the university's Title VI obligations. For One American News, I'm Stephanie Myers. For all our viewers asking where One American News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. 
Away and Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, Away and Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.